And here they come, the Italianos making the return with Gary Gambino. Oh, there's Wrecking You just attacking the Italianos. This is getting started right away. Hellcat just taking it, Ducks just had no stick. Oh, Gary Gambino just taking out right in front of us, Hutch. I just ran backstage to try and warn them, but I was a little too late. Oh. Street rules. Street, street rules. Street fight here in Wallen. Oh, poor oh. Gary Gambino been taken out too. Who made this a street fight? Did you hear about this? Chris LaFlam must have done it. He's drunk on power. Primo fighting back, getting the kendo stick back in his hand. Drunk on power. I'm sure it probably had something to do with Jay Moore. He's the only guy around here who's up to stuff like that. And he has far more power behind the scenes here than I would like or I would be comfortable with. But here we go, the action is fast and furious here. Street fight underway. The Italiano's just taking it to wrecking you. Wait, my, my producer here was telling me that this guy, his name is DePinto? Really? So they, well, it's, it's, uh, it's Hellcat and DePinto. I don't know what his first name is. Robert DePinto, I think. Well, Hellcat is back, and one thing I know about Hellcat, he knows how to pick a partner. Italiano's in firm control right now. Well, we're going to have to find out his name. I can tell you, if he gets a win over the Italianos, I'm going to remember find out what his name is, and I'm going to darn well remember it. That is, a, that is a, you know, that's an accolade. That's not something you do easy. And right now, the action's outside of the ring. I have no idea what's going on here. Fans stand, are all on their feet. feet. I can Can't see what's, what's going, going on here. Here we go. All right, I've walked into the crowd area here, and I can see Hellcat. He's picking up. He's got Primo oh, Scordino. You can hear chops all the way across this arena here. De Pinto and Tony Carboni on the other side of the ring. And Carboni, wow! Slaps and chops the galore here, folks. And De Pinto is a small guy. He's going toe to toe to Tony with Tony Carboni here. That takes a pair. Let me tell you, this kid is tough. But he's down now. And here, closer to my position, Primo Scordino. Wow, he's gained a lot of that body weight back after his bodybuilding tour. And he is beating the hell out of Hellcat. <laughs> the hell out of Hellcat. I like that. This is ridiculous. Fans are everywhere. This is a street fight. Back in the ring, finally, we've got some action happening here. There we go. Finally, get back to our table. It's ridiculous. Fans everywhere. Crossfire security doing absolutely nothing. Wow, back in the ring, DePinto one on one here against Tony Carboni. Oh, hey. The enforcer of the Italian so actually all four men are in the ring. Yeah, right I was sorry. The cameraman, once again, in my way here. And I can see that you are correct. All four men are in the oh. ring. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what, partner is getting felled here that's what, by Primo Scordino. That's one place you do not want to be the Italiano's corner. Oh! oh. Wow. <laughs> Hellcat gets absolutely crushed in the corner. Oh, not looking good for the return of Hellcat. And just a horrible landing for that drop to a hole. Not looking good. Well, I don't right know if this guy's going to want to partner with Hellcat for much longer. Well, Hellcat knows what it means to become a champion. He's been there before. But right now, that's not the way to go at it. Stick ball, firm control, just, just putting that boot right in the throat. Well, you know, at, least, at least Hellcat was nice enough to inform people here at Crossfire that he had a new partner. Jake O'Reilly should be ashamed of himself bringing out giant giant Rodriguez or Martinez and ended up being hey, Martinez Kid Supremo. should have been here. <laughs> he probably should have been here. <laughs> then at it least could, if he it got been Crossfire screwed with his plane ticket. That's probably what happened. Oh, please. How come you blame everything on Chris LaFont and because Crossfire? You, you heard him at the you beginning. Know, these guys can take care of themselves, you know. Uh oh. Bruce Cordino's got a chair. Oh, just missed the Pinto. Oh, no, that was Hellcat. Sorry. Hellcat got out of the way of the chair, and now he's got it. He's stalking Primo with that chair. Oh, and he misses. Oh. Wow, street fight rules. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited here. I had no clue, but, well, audience members now. Ha ha, attack it to Pinto. See, this is ridiculous. These fans here in Wallen make me sick. Oh, whoever that fan was, we should sign him to the roster here. That was one heck of an open-handed chop. Hellcat looks like he's coming around to help out his partner. Wow, this is unbelievable. I would have got oh, some got more lights chair. around ringside if I had known these guys were going to be fighting all over the place. Oh, Hellcat going to work with that chair right in the midsection of Primo Scordino. It is good to see Hellcat back. Oh. And the Pinto taking out Cody, Tony Carboni. And over on the other side here, the same thing. The chairs are flying. Look at the Pinto smashing it into his own head. There's action all over the place right now. Well, it looks like finally we might be getting some action in the ring, Chris. Uh oh, Primo's got that chair in the ring. And on oh, the wow. outside of the ring, Carboni just getting slammed with the other chair. Uh oh, chair set up in the middle of the ring, Hutch. 
Pedro Scardino on full I'm sorry, court. fans. This is hard to call this action. There is action absolutely everywhere. Hellcat uh -oh. center of the ring. Drop oh. cold into a chair, <laughs> Raven style. Oh, that's so that's so vicious. A guy can lose an eye with that drop toe hold into the chair. Well, it's an ECW kind of night with Shane Douglas in the house. We this got is, street fights, we got Raven's rules. This is definitely the Rose City ride here tonight. Take a look at that chair in the ring. It's already broken, there's no back on it. They've been beating each other left, right, and center with these things. I don't know if we got a camera shot here. Yeah, we do, Hellcats, he's out of, he's out of here. Oh, he looks hurt. But it's not looking good right now. Pinto left all alone with two members with the Italianos, not good. He's gone. He has left his partner here to the Wolves. The Italianos are gonna take out this uh, DePinto guy. And he's done. One of the fans here agreed with me. This guy is toast. Uh-oh. Tommy Carbone yeah, using that like power. the people here in Welland. They like some violence. This guy here, he's really, he's all excited to see a two-on-one. my kind of fans. Oh, man. Hellcat's oh, he back. He's he went to get a, a baseball. He's got an aluminum baseball back. That's where he was oh, going. I have smart to do here because Remember, the street fight rules yes, completely yes, legal. Street fight, this is, this is more than legal. It's as legal as a headlock, hot. Huh? Here he comes. I don't know if they see him. Oh! oh. oh. Primo caught no, the bat. Primo caught the bat. Now he's got it. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. He's getting chased with the bat. Oh, no. Took it right to the ribs. Hellcat has been nursing some sore ribs for the last eight months. They healed up, but I'm sure they still ache a bit if you smash it with a bat. Primo's got that bat. Oh! Hellcat, with Hellcat the ball. catching the bat himself. Now choking out Primo. Oh. Side rushing. Wow, oh. Tommy Dreamer Beautiful. style and Sandman style. Like I said, it's an ECW kind of night. Well, this is a street fight. It's not going to be for the fan at heart. These teams want to get in that tag team title picture. What better way to prove your point wow. by making choking a statement him out tonight? With a butt end and a bat. Brutal, vicious stuff here from a former tag team champion. Everybody in there is a former tag champion except for this DePinto kid. He's probably held a title somewhere. I'm Hellcat sure he has. knows he how to scout looks, his partners. Certainly looks like he knows his way around a wrestling ring, or at least around the outside of it. Wrecking You looks fired up. What a oh. great game, too. Instead of Wrecking Crew, Wrecking You, and that's exactly what they're doing yes. to Primo Scorbino. Just putting the bat to work. Tony Carberry still on the. Oh, oh wow. Right to the ribs. And perfectly legal. That actually looked a little bit low. And that is still perfectly legal. It's legal as a headlock, Hutch. Here we go. Wow, scraping the side of the head with his boot. They're just laying it to the Italianos oh, right man. now. And here comes the here comes Frank Newman, the peanut galleries here. How you doing, Frank? Hey guys, how you doing? No, I asked you, how are you doing? I am doing fantastic, just enjoying your show here in Wellington. So I, I don't know what our producer came and told us. This guy, is his name DePinto? Hellcat's partner? Robert DePinto, is that right? You know what, Classic, I think you're right. Nobody around here knows what the heck they're doing. You know, I've been defending you, Frank, and here you go, you throw me under the bus, you don't no, know what? the answer. That's probably the smartest thing you've ever said, yeah. that I'm right. Well, well, it was written in Frank, so I really couldn't make it. Jeez. All right, well, Chris has been saying everybody around here is just a big kid, and I guess that's why you got a bunch of crayons, huh? All right, Chris, I've been saying you're wrong, but it looks like you're right. Crossfire is run by a bunch of kids. Oh, no, no, I said they've been drunk with power. Drunk with power, so big kids then. And that chair set up in the middle, just right there between the top rope. Oh, and I didn't see that. I was talking with Frank. Chair set up in the turnbuckles now. Hellcat, I don't know what he's going to do here, but it can't be good. Oh, that chair set up. Not looking good. But I told you, Frank Newman doesn't know what's going on here. Oh, Primo put the brakes on. Ducks, three front. Oh, 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 no! Oh, Hellcat, wow. right into that chair. Got leapfrog. Oh. I don't think he had any clue. Scordino oh. is one fast guy, and DePinto oh. now. <laughs> we think that's his name, folks. The sure up right. We're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna know, get some I'm gonna get the ball the I'm, I'm gonna wow. Talk to, oh wow! Just waffling this guy. That was a hard chair shot. You know, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this one. Hellcat and DePinto, if that is his real name, win. When we celebrate tonight, I'll get to the bottom of everything. Oh. Right in control. Well, we know the Dirty uh -oh. Vets are getting the uh -oh. next title shot for these two teams. I know uh -oh. the Italianos want to move up. Carboni slam. Oh. Wow, well, was that on the chair? Looks like it, Hodge. No, I just stood up here. He missed the chair, but God. Oh, the Pinto's lucky. These guys are vicious. Hellcat's I think he hurt not, us. Hellcat's not, uh-oh. Oh, they oh, no, hurt this us. this is vintage Italianos right here. That camel clutch is set in. 
that he's got the chair. Oh, oh no. man, just like I said, it's an ECW kind of night, Chris. My oh, God, it's not looking good. Okay, I think we're gonna need a new program Rob Van Dam for this. Styles. Oh, wow, oh, basement oh, drop kick oh, right to the mush. Oh, not for the faint of heart. And it's there over. we go. There's no way anyone could have gotten up out of that. That is one way to end a street fight. What a way to make the return, the Italianos. Winning in a street fight over the returning Hellcat uh, and his partner, the wrecking town you. boys, the Italianos, certainly getting the response they're looking for and getting the W here today at Crossfire Wrestling.